Guys, can we just take a moment to appreciate the sheer difference? Honestly, I love it, it's so good. As far as this Kwanda attachment is concerned, oh my god, it is amazing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alana Noel, and today is a very exciting video because we are going to be trying out the new flyaway attachment in the new Dyson Era Multi Styler. I have had a lot of people request this tutorial, so I'm very excited to be recording it and I really hope you all find it very useful. I think that my hair is good hair to try this flyaway attachment out on because I'd say in a scale of one to 10, with one being the least frizzy and 10 being the most frizzy, my hair is probably a hard eight. It all depends on how my hair is styled. I am not one of these people who has naturally beautiful flyaway hair that dries all straight. That is just not me. I have the curly, frizzy, weavy hair. It's a curly bop. My nickname, in fact, when I was younger, quite a few people would call me curly bop because I just had this like little head of hair that had like little ringlets and it was all curly. So I feel like if this works good on my hair, then it's probably gonna work good on your hair. So guys, I'm gonna be trying out two techniques today for using this attachment. What I'm gonna do is one side of my hair, I am going to dry it all the way dry, I'm gonna brush it, and I'm gonna use the flyaway attachment. That's without smoothing out my hair. Now, I'm doing that because my hair will be at its most frizziest whenever I dry it with the hair dryer and I brush it out. If I want to see how well the flyaway attachment holds up doing that, I haven't actually tried that out yet. And I don't think you are supposed to use it like that. I think you're supposed to style your hair and then use it. But like I said, I want to show you guys both. So I'm doing the other side. I am going to dry it about 80%. I'm going to smooth it out using one of the new smoothing brushes in the Airwrap Multi Styler. And then I'm going to use the flyaway attachment to show you how well or not very well it gets rid of my flyaways it's the one attachment that I know that a lot of people haven't really got to grips with using so I really hope this tutorial helps you get to grips with that so I'm gonna stop blabbering and let's get started I am going to split my hair in half With this attachment, you have this nozzle on the top. I'm sorry if this doesn't focus, like it's really hard. Sometimes I just don't know if it's focusing or not. And you have the arrow, so you can either switch it round, and that means that the flyaway attachment works fully smooth, or you switch it back out until it clicks, and this is the hair dryer attachment that you use to dry your hair. Now, I'm just gonna put this on um, full speed and full heat, and I'm just gonna fully dry this section of hair. We all know that the side of the hair, like it's not gonna miraculously make it look dead straight and perfect, and it's still gonna be like all kinked, and it's still gonna be quite big, but I'm just intrigued to see how well it smooths it out and gets rid of the flyaways without me smoothing it out myself first. So, I am going to switch this around at the top. We can get rid of where the air comes out. So I'm just going to give this a turn until it clicks. You can hear that click. And obviously that is now gone and you have the full smoothing flyaway attachment. You also have this little like long nozzle and depending on what side of your hair that you're smoothing out, you need to just switch this. So you can switch it to the left, you can switch it to the right, so that the air is coming down the side that you're smoothing out. Let's go. So guys, it isn't really gonna be as effective on this side, so I'm gonna wait until I do the other side of my hair to talk you through the technique on how to properly use the flyaway attachment. I am probably gonna pause there because I don't really think it's gonna do much more. Like I said, I kind of just wanted to try this out to see did it do anything like 
really show-stopping um, but obviously the idea of this attachment is you are supposed to style your hair first however you want it and then use it to smooth out that style and get rid of the flyaways I think that it has done something it just hasn't done anything significant but I did know that it probably wouldn't but I just wanted to try this out really to show you guys and I think the thing is is that whenever you watch people's TikToks and little Instagram reels I feel like it can be quite misleading because I've seen quite a few girls upload TikToks and Instagram reels where they've just blow dried their hair with this attachment and they've used the smoothing attachment and it looks perfectly smooth and straight and I feel like it's given a lot of people the illusion that this like does something miraculous and really smooths your hair out to look beautiful and perfect and straight but if you have hair like me that needs styling that's coarse that's curly that's weave that's frizzy you need to style your hair first with one of the other attachments before getting the benefits of this and this is really to show you guys that you do in fact need to do that fling this section of hair back we are now going to move over to this side of my hair and what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth my hair out with the new smoothing brushes in the multi styler I am going to quickly do that and then I'm going to show you how it works once I actually have my hair styled so let's go I have a video on my channel if you would like to watch how to properly use the smoothing brushes and I will be releasing an updated one very soon We just take a moment to appreciate the difference here as well like oh my goodness okay right you know what I'm just gonna put this behind my ears because I just feel like it's very distracting to what's even going on over here so as you can see I have obviously smoothed this out quite a bit but there is still quite a few flyaways here so we are going to take the smoothing brush attachment off and we are gonna put the Kwanda attachment back on and we are going to now smooth this side of the hair. So, every side you are putting flat to your head, this little copper piece wants to be in the opposite direction. So I'm now having this piece on my hair, so I wanna make sure the copper piece is flicked over that way so the air can come out from here. Let's go. So guys, you want to start by placing the Dyson at your roots, making sure the long copper bar is facing upwards. Then run the Dyson down your hair, ensuring you have contact with your hair the entire time. You want to make sure you do it slowly, so your hair attaches onto it like so. Then you just want to repeat until you have got rid of most of your flyaways and it's added shine to your hair. It may look like I'm doing it fast, but I've sped up this for the purpose of the video. So guys, what are your thoughts? I mean, look at this side. This has made my hair so shiny. And I can even just feel it. It like feels like I put like, like a smoothing treatment on it. It just looks so much shinier. It feels so much smoother. And a lot of those flyaways are gone. Again, I'm really hoping you can see this on the camera with the light, but like I had quite a lot of flyaways going on here. And I think I've got, I can see like one or two that's like a bit stuck up and all the rest are gone. And I'm sure if I kept going with it, those would go away. But even just my hair like feels like a little bit more like firmer, if that's the right word. Like it doesn't feel like as fluffy as like what it did before I use this. I am very impressed. Like I, whenever you have straight hair and you use this attachment, it is amazing. Even if you don't want to buy the whole new era multi styler, I would 100% recommend going and buying this whenever this becomes available individually and buy it and put it on your original air app because this is this is worth it and honestly I really love this um this hairdryer I actually prefer to the old one I like that because it's like a thin nozzle you can really target the area that you want to dry whereas with the other one because it's bigger it's 
I feel like it takes me a little bit longer to dry my hair. Like it definitely dries a little bit faster here. Also, my boyfriend uses both of my hair apps and he actually says he prefers this one. Okay, so guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the Quanda attachment, please comment below and I will try and get back to you or you can slide into my DMs over in Instagram. So if you have any video requests for the new Dyson Air app, please let me know. Or if you have any video requests on anything else, just comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.